Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 20 cryptocurrencies by market cap. We're going to start with Dogecoin at number one, followed by Polkadot, Tron, Chainlink, Toncoin, Polygon, Internet Computer, and then we're going to with Shiba Inu at number eight. Let's get straight into it. Dogecoin against BDC. So here we are for Dogecoin. And we've been in a downtrend. We're under the skinny pink line. I think we could be heading towards sub 100. We're 189. So there's still a long way to go, to be honest. We're still in a downward trend, so yeah, we respect the skinny pink line. As long as it's under it, we remain with a bearish bias. Dosh against USDT. We are not clearly above the skinny pink line. We have been going close to it. Could we head lower? Of course. But if you do head lower, I fear that this whole thing could be a very big descending triangle. Right, potentially. But of course, at the same time, if we don't touch the skinny pink line, we come back up, we consolidate over here, and yeah, this whole thing could be a very nice squeeze as we head higher for Dogecoin. But for the moment, yeah, we're not entirely sure, so we're going to have to next Dogecoin. Dot against BDC. Here we are for Polkadot. Uh, dot hit the skinny pink line. It got slapped back down. It attempted to break back up, but uh, again, we're not really sure. No, no clarity uh, for Dot BDC. Dot USDT. Here we are for Polkadot USD. Yeah, okay, we are above the skinny pink line, which is good. So we are anticipating continuation towards the upside for Polkadot. Uh, some clusters of stop sales over here. So the wheels might just sweep everybody before heading back higher. Something like that. Again, we're not entirely sure. Uh, we could also just consolidate here and head higher. So if we were to consolidate, right, and if there were to be a clear chart pattern, we only like I don't know, 25%, 20% 20 of the way done. So we still have no idea how this part is going to look like yet. So once we are like 90%, 95% done, then okay, we'll probably uh, have a rough idea of uh, what's going to happen, right? Uh, if and when we can anticipate the um, spike out, if and when it happens. So for now, we're going to have to next poker dot. Tron against BDC. What's up, Justin? Tron against BDC. Okay, potentially Tron could be in a squeeze as well. You see this? A, B, C, maybe we get a D, E, head higher, not entirely sure. Of course, this whole thing could become mountain ranges as well. And we head lower, for sure. Uh, so at this point of time, we're going to have to next Tron BDC against USD. Here we are. Any clear signs for Tron USD? No, not really. And there was consolidation over here. All right, you see this? There was a squeeze. Broke out, now we're back down. There you go, bro. Are we gonna come back down here? Get a head and shoulders? Head lower? I'm not too sure. We're above the skinny pink line though, so we're anticipating the bullish trend to continue for Tron USD. Chain link! What's up, Sergey? Link against BDC. Okay, <laughs> chain link almost went down towards the skinny pink line. But then, nope, the skinny pink line is lava, and then we're heading back up right now. Link is still in a bullish trend. We're above the skinny pink line. Big buying pressure, just as we are heading towards the skinny pink line. So, which means that more likely than not, sir, we should be heading back up for Link BDC. And this is a inverse head and shoulders in the making. So, chain link could be an outlier as it hits higher against BDC, potentially. Uh, I am going to assume that we're going to take out all of these clusters of stock buys and then all of these clusters as well. So potentially up to like 115, 0 0.00115, 116 maybe. So yeah, still a long way to go though. It's not going to be instant one day or one week. It's going to take months uh, before we hit back up. So yeah, there we go. Link against USD. Here we are for Link USD. Looking good. Consolidating. Yes, sir. Are we going to get a symmetrical triangle over here before we hit higher will we sweep the lows is this the low again these are all questions that we want answers to could we just zip up like that of course uh, but yeah again we're anticipating uh, proper consolidation first before heading higher no guarantees so we may just zip up like that without any you know it might just be a very quick rise back up like over here right it was very quick spike out but uh, you can assume that this was an ascending in the making if you look over here Valley 1, Valley 2, Valley 3, pum, we're out. So we're anticipating some sort of a bullish continuation sharp pattern, right? If you're fortunate, fortunate enough to get it, then hey, we could take trades for it. But until then, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see first. Ton, 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 ton against USD. Here we are for Ton. Let's look at it on gate. Okay, Ton is also forming and um, ascending, right? Valley 1, Valley 2, Valley 3. That's it. We break higher. 
But we're, we're touching the skinny pink line, so I'm a bit suspicious. Suspicious! Could we hit lower? Sweep up all of the lows first before hitting back higher? Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure for Ton. Mm, you're gonna have the next hit. Matic! Matic against BTC. Looks not too good. Uh, Matic against BTC has taken out this low. We were anticipating uh, the lows to hold. All right, and then we do something like this. We break out. Oof, would be glorious. But we've already taken this out. So, potentially, there could be more downside for Matic BTC. How much lower could we go? Yeah, maybe 1,005, maybe? Around here. Right, there's some noise over here. So, I'm assuming we will stop here. 1,005, yeah. Now, right now, we're at 1,009. So, still a little bit more to go. Uh, before we find support. If this support doesn't hold, again, the next one will be here. So, yeah, Matic is looking pretty weak at the moment. Against USD, um, yes, sir. So, for Matic USD, we still have a target over here. Ta-da! $9 and $12, right? Uh, it's going to take some time before we head higher. We were we were expecting this to be a very nice breakout, and then it just goes up and never comes back down. But we have already come back down, so it's like, hey, yo, bro, what's happening? Uh, could we be heading back lower? Yeah, we're right on the skinny pink line. So we could be snaking around the skinny pink line, something like that. Something like that before we really truly break out or Matic USD, right? Uh, this could be a very extended type of a E. A, B, C, D, maybe E, something like that. Pam, we break out here. So watch out for this resistance line. Even when it breaks, that's it. That's it, that's it. There might be a retrace, but that's it. We should be heading back towards double digits, potentially, right? Uh, this, this target's hole as long as we don't take out these lows. As long as we don't take this out, right? The moment we take out this low, that's it. That's it. It's invalidated. So, yeah, but but for now, it's good, right? The very lows over here is like 31 cents. We're at 84 cents. Uh, could we hit here? Sure, there's, there's no, you know, no guarantees, right? Um, but, yeah, there, there is some noise over here. So, I would anticipate some support to come in at around... 64 cents, 63, 64 cents. Mm, but of course, we could just break out from here. Even when this breaks out, great. Then this will be the support area. Right? Even when we retrace, this could be a support area before heading back higher. Something like that. So you yeah, are monitoring Matic very closely. ICP, ICP against BTC. Here we are for internet computer. Yeah, consolidating. Yeah. Uh, what's happening? We're not sure. Any clear high quality bullish continuation chart patterns not yet here yes something like a symmetrical palm hit higher but then it got slapped down and then now it's like yeah bro what's happening we could head down here though some support over here right at around 2002 right 2009 so a little bit lower and after that palm we hit higher potentially right i mean of course we could also consolidate here before hitting higher so as long as you're above the skinny pink line we remain with a bullish bias for ICP, BDC. Same for the USD pair as well. Um, we could also head towards the noisy area over here. right? A little bit lower, taking out these lows, forming maybe a falling channel of sorts. ABC, right? There could be five ways down as well. Again, we're monitoring things very closely. I think there is still more downside to come for ICP. We'll find support over here. If not, so we'll probably uh, take out all of these lows, sweep all of these lows before heading higher. But again, as long as we're above the skinny pink line, we remain with a bullish bias for ICP. Shiba Inu! Shiba against USD. Here we are for Shiba Inu! How's Shiba doing? Eh, okay, inverse head and shoulders. You see this? Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. But we're around the skinny pink line. So which means we could zip a little bit lower. Potentially, right? If you could just, you know, go sideways. It would be brilliant, right? Uh, but yeah, we're anticipating this to happen. Potentially, right? Sweep this low, sweep this low, and sweep this low. Sweep all of this. Boom. Hit back higher. Completing the right shoulder. And then break out. Boom. Ooh. This would be glorious. But yeah, for now, you know, it's just not really that clear yet. So we're going to have to wait and see how it goes for Shiba, you know. All right, boys and girls, I guess that's it for today's top 20. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta-da!